Hi, this is Katie from Crafting Ruby Dreams, and today's video is all about putting together a table mate gift for a conference, whether virtual or in person. So if you've never had to do this before, or you're looking for some ideas, once you get back to going to conferences, please stick around. Thanks so much for joining me today. Crafting Ruby Dreams is all about planning, goal setting, writing, publishing, and getting right with my finances. Recently, I attended my very first planner conference. It was the Sugary Girl Shop Planner Conference, SGS, and they have had in-person conferences before, but I've never been to an in-person planner conference, so everything about this was new to me. One of the things that the conference did was create uh, sets of tables for attendees, and they asked that if you were not interested in participating in table mate gifts to let them know. But apparently a thing for planner conferences is table mate gifts. So you're assigned to a particular table and you bring little gift bags of whatever to the conference for your table mates. I have attended tons of conferences before, primarily library and industry as well as writing industry conferences. So this was a new thing to me for the types of conferences that I attended. That being said, I am not unused to the idea of little gift bags for various reasons. My late aunt actually used to run a business that was all about gift bags and gift baskets, and I used to help her with some of the work when needed. So this is not something that's new to me concept-wise. I had no idea what expectations were for what to be included in the table mate gifts. So I was feeling my way in the dark with this and I thought this video would be helpful to others who are trying to figure out if they are doing table mate gifts, what to include in those. The specific examples I give are going to be related to paper planners. However, I hope the guidelines that I provide will give you some ideas for other types of conferences if you run into this issue. Now, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna have some information about a giveaway and I hope you will stay around for that. First up are some guidelines on putting together a table mate gift, and then I'm going to be showing you specific examples both of what I created as well as what I received from the conference. The first thing that you want to look for is if guidelines are provided by the conference, and things that you want to look for is if there is to be a size restriction, if that is a thing that may not be a thing but the particular conference I d attended included a minimum budget for what they wanted you to if you were doing table make gifts for you to include in your set in this particular example it was a ten dollar minimum I will get into budget a little bit later but you want to be looking for if there is a minimum set as well as a maximum set that way you know at least that boundary and you can see what other people are going to be expecting out of you as well as what you can be expecting out of other people. The next thing you wanna do is figure out a theme and maybe it's something that aligns with the theme of the conference. Maybe it's a theme that you come up with on your own and also consider what type of conference you are attending. So. Like I said, this was a paper planner conference that I was attending, but you may encounter this if you are attending a reader group conference or if you are doing a, or a, any other type of hobby conference, say there's a, like a sewing related thing or a knitting related conference. There's a lot of different things. It's whatever the focus of the conference is. So you wanna pay attention to that. And again, some conferences have themes, but they may not. And you're not, even if they do have a theme, you are not required to abide by that. The next thing to figure out is the budget that you are comfortable with. And there's going to be actually two budgets that you need to take into consideration. The first is for the contents of the table mate gift. And the second is for any packaging and possibly shipping that you're going to have to do. 
and you want to do this budget by person. What I ended up doing was deciding that I want to limit the total spent to $15. I actually discovered the $10 minimum after I had already made that decision. So, woohoo! <laughs> but you want to pay attention to what it is per person because that's going to allow you to buy in bulk as well as whether or not you fall into any guidelines set by the conference. So, next, when you are choosing your contents, like I said, you have a budget that you have set for yourself. Per person and you want to think about what's going to be expressive of you and what you're interested in and what your values are if that is a thing to consider as well as what theme you have chosen for your table make gifts then as I said you may also want to take into consideration the theme of the conference is there a color scheme that you want to stick to? Is there a particular phrase or word that is going to be specific to the conference? Pay attention to the branding of the conference because that is going to allow you to figure out how you want to structure things for your table mate gift set. The third consideration you want to take into account when choosing your contents is shipping times. And there's actually two that you need to keep in mind. The first is what the shipping time is from the supplier. Are they going to take three weeks to provide you with your contents, but you need to ship it out or the conference is happening in two weeks? then you may not want to be going with that supplier. Or are they going to be able to ship to you with some padded time for any possible issues with shipping? And especially if you find something wrong with the contents and you need to have them reship, do you have enough time ahead of when the conference is going to happen or when you need to ship your table mate gifts out to your individual table mates? So, that's the second shipping time that you need to take into consideration is if you want your items to get to your table mates prior to the conference, and it is in this case like a virtual conference, how much lead time do you need in order to have your package arrive ahead of the conference? Now, sometimes you can't do anything and it's gonna be really close or come just after the conference. If that's the case, just communicate with your table mates so you, that you are managing their expectations. And managing expectations is a huge thing in many parts of life. Here's another thing to consider with this, especially if the conference you are attending is virtual. Is it international? Do you need to do any international shipping? It's up to you if you want to be willing to do that. And if you don't want to be at a table with somebody who is from international because that's just going to be too much for you budget wise, then you need to get in contact with the conference organizer as soon as possible in order to let them know that you do have this restriction and whether or not you still want to participate in uh, the sharing of table meet gifts. So, after you've chosen your contents and you've figured out the cost per person, you have that all set. The next thing to take into consideration is packaging. Sometimes you may not actually need separate packaging because something that you are including as part of the table mate gift works perfectly well as packaging, it's a pouch of some kind. But if you do not have something like that, you may want to consider having something fairly simple like a Mylar bag in order to contain everything. Because honestly, even if you're going to an in-person conference, you don't want to just have things spread out and you get uh, separated easily and people don't know that it's all part of one thing. You may want to do something a little bit extra and that would be including some kind of uh, packaging material. And here's an example, is this crinkle paper. Now, in this particular case, I decided to get crinkle paper that was on the same color scheme roughly as that of the conference organizer and the branding for the conference, but you can absolutely do something that's specific to you and your theme. 
I found because of what I was shipping, it was actually nicer to have that in order to create a little bit of buffer in the shipping, even though I used a padded envelope. And then if you are shipping, you may not need any separate packaging because you're just stuffing everything into the um, bag. It's up to you how you want to do this, but if you think about it, this is a nice little gift. So at the very least, if you want to do something like wrapping tissue paper around the package, that just creates a little extra happiness for the person or the kind of overall guidelines for what to include. I would suggest having a note from yourself, whether handwritten or typed out or pre-printed, whatever, just something that personalizes it a little bit to the person that you're giving it to and expressing your hopes that they enjoy it. So next I am going to do a top down shot of both what I created for my table mate gifts as well as some examples of the table mate gifts that I received from this conference to give you ideas, especially if you're attending a paper planner conference and I hope you enjoy them. Stick around to the end for information on a giveaway. Here's the example of what I put together. This is the finished product of my table mate gift. The only thing that's missing is the card that I included with the personal note. But I did use a mylar bag to contain all of this, as well as some crinkle paper in purple and ivory. I got both of these from Staples. And then what I did was that I sealed it with some washi tape. I will say that I did a combination of uh, items, everything was new, but items that I already had on hand plus items that I uh, was gathering from my stash of things. So it was very useful to me in order to go ahead and do some de-stashing of things, especially as I was doing this prior to moving into the new apartment. But I was glad that I had some things on hand that I knew my table mates would probably enjoy. So first up, I included a Sharpie S gel pen. And here's the thing, I don't, let's see if I can get this to zoom in or focus. But if you can see, it is the purple ink. So I thought that would be a fun inclusion and it is the 0 0.7 so there you can kind of see it there. And then the next thing that I did, I ordered this. It is a micro notes uh, from Happy Planner and the thing about these, I got these on clearance. And the cover is the Future Looks Bright, I think. I don't want to tear this off yet. This Future Looks Bright with a rainbow and I thought this was just a really positive sentiment and that's something that I'm focused on and plus who can use a little notebook with a pen. And then next up I had a little seal from Simply Gilded. I have a whole bunch of these from all of my various orders so I was able to include one with every pack. This is um, just something I had on hand. I did not figure this into the total value of the gift bag so this is something else I did have on hand, but this I did figure into the uh, total value. Next up is a little washi card filled with washi from my collection. And this is something else I obviously, I didn't have the little cards on hand. I ordered these from Simply Gilded. But all of the washi were things that I had on hand. And I actually rotated through a set of about maybe 15 washi or so and I was able to fit six 15 millimeter um, washi cards on, um, washi tapes on here and then something that I did was I counted about 10 times around so in total so one time around and then one time around and so if you do each half it would be 20 halves so there's a little bit more for some and some are thicker in general but these were things that I really enjoyed and it's a mix of simply gilded washi um, wonton in a million and uh, Coffee Monsters Co. and I tried to ensure that there was at least one Coffee Monsters Co. or Wonton in a Million with all of the Simply Gildy on each card. 
Next up are some samples from Planner Kate. Again, I have many orders from over the years, so I had a whole bunch of these and I just included one sheet with each. I did not include uh, this into the value of uh, the package, but this is something I did include in the value of the package. I also had a lot of journal cards from Simply Gilded, so not every single one was the same, similar to the washi. And then I also purchased sticker sheets from two stores that I uh, really love supporting and I thought would be fun. First up is uh, this sheet from Procrasta Planner, etc. for uh, 2021 National Sticker Day. Um, it's the Planner Addict. So obviously with the theme of the conference being uh, for... <laughs> planners. I thought this would be a lot of fun. And then the other is this Rainbow Mermaid sticker set from Sparkle and Shine Designs. So I thought these would also be fun. Um, and that is pretty much it for my table mate gifts. The total value of all of these was I think just under $15. I think it was around $14 and change. So this was the uh, biggest item of value. And like I said, I was able to get these on clearance. And then I happened to get this set of uh, stickers also on clearance. Um, there was a sale, I should say, um, that was going on when I ordered them. So um, they the value was more, but I got it for less. So <laughs> I was very pleased with that. So that was my table mate gift that I mailed to everyone, including to, uh, we had one person um, who was on our table from Germany. Now for her, I did include some extra things because uh, somebody else in the group very thoughtfully asked if there was anything in particular that she would be interested in and she said she was really interested in Sharpie gels and chocolates and she really liked Hershey's chocolate. So I got a bag of Hershey's miniatures. Um, I asked my mom to go out and pick me up this bag and she got me the um, giant party size bag. <laughs> so I created a smaller Mylar bag. And then I also had a lot of um, Sharpie uh, S-Gel pens sitting around that I was like, you know what? I can de-stash these a little bit. So I sent her a variety of uh, bold point, medium point, and fine point black ink pen so I hope she enjoyed them so so she was a little bit more value in her bag because of that but at the same time it was something I could easily do without um, really spending any more than I already had so um, that is it for this Next up, I have some examples of what was sent to me for this conference. And so, like I said, here is um, some tissue paper just wrapped around. And that's because the item, the really nice item uh, that was sent uh, along with some things in here was a pouch. So, very cute pouch and it contains everything in it. I won't show the card. But inside the pouch, I will say it was kind of funny when I started opening these and there are Sharpie S chills in many of these bags. So we are all right around the same lines. And so in addition to that is this lovely little necklace that is uh, planner, I believe planner girl. I have to look closer. It's a, it's a script that I sometimes have a hard time reading. And then next up was this great little sticker with K on it. Almost everybody at our table, uh, start, her name started with K. Also, there were some J's. And then here were some lovely um, Lifesaver mints that these are great for when you're at a conference in person. And then a little card with information about the pouch. So not a whole lot of stuff in this particular uh, table mate gift, but that's because this is a really, really nice pouch. So 
the person who put this package together decided to put a lot of her budget into a bigger item. And that's up to you how you want to uh, do things. So I'm going to move this over to the side. It's up to you how you want to decide to spend your budget. And so the next one is here and yeah got everything so I can also tell from personal experience that um, some people took the opportunity to uh, de-stash some things and I have no problems against that with that because of this gives you an opportunity to share shops that you love and if you have samples from them share them and so don't try to swindle me because I like cake and that was a little holographic fun. I really like that. And this is from Scribble Prince Co. I'm not going to go through quite all of these because I want to highlight some interesting stuff. But here are some, uh, these are cardboard things. So if you do in some memory keeping and then this is like a little bookmark. And then you also have the uh, a pen holder. So what you do is just tear off this backing and this is uh, sticky and you can stick it onto your planner and it's a pen loop. And here's some more. And then here, I'm really looking forward to using this. This is a little uh, pouch that you can uh, put into a planner. So you just tear off that backing and you could put little cards and uh, small stickers in there if you wanted to. And then this is great because <laughs> I was like, oh, I know what this is. Um, so this is some just a, another washi um, as well as a little um, sticky note. So this was a really great idea. And then we just have some more stickers, a lot of stickers with this particular package, which was really fun that you can try things out too. And so, and she also has this lovely full box kit from Scribble, from Scribble Prints Co. And the thing about this is that it is New York themed and this conference usually takes place in New York City from what I understand. So this is something that highlights what this conference is about. And then this was also a really great idea. She has the sticker paper and just had some random stickers from various shops that she included. So I thought that was a great idea. And again, and what this is, I don't know if you can see, but this is great. Um, you can um, put this between uh, pen, uh, you can put this between paper and so if you've got a really heavy hand you're not going to be uh, pressing down into multiple sheets of paper if you're writing on something like uh, in a Hobonichi so this is kind of just helps uh, so that you're if you've got a heavy hand you're not pressing down through multiple sheets of paper all right so that is that one and then here's the fun one from uh, our person in Germany. I thought this was really, really cute and really kind of funny, but um, just because of this particular, this is the Faber Castell and this is the Brilliant Ruby. So this is the like metallic highlighter, which I actually had, had in storage. So when I uh, opened this package, I was just like, wait, I love this. This is fun. And then there is another Faber Castell. Um, this is another uh, highlighter, the pastel. So this is pink. And then she also included this um, German company notebook. And it's a plastic cover and it's grid paper. So really neat and perfect for like when you're running around a conference. And then uh, Stadler fi uh, Tri Plus Fine Liners. So it's a variety of them. There's this one in blue and then these um, two pastel ones. So these are fun and a little note card again. So again, not a whole lot, but some high value items, especially these Faber Castells. And especially when you're shipping from Germany to multiple people in the States, that is going, you want as low of a weight as possible. And then for this particular 
set. And this was fun because there's a tote bag in not a big um, shipping container, but she made it work. So there is this great tote bag that I really liked the color and um, the fabric. And then inside, I thought these were also really fun. Um, this is a set of socks in a print that matches the bag. And unfortunately, <laughs> these are going to be a little too small for me. I have very large feet, but I'm going to go ahead and give these to my niece when I'm back in Chicago. And these great hair ties, I will probably actually keep these because my niece hates putting her hair up, but I always put my hair up these days. And then uh, again, some Sharpies. So this is a Sharpie S note, which I have not played with any of these yet. So this should be fun and a uh, Sharpie permanent marker in both uh, green and red. So this is gonna be great for the holidays coming up, as well as some more uh, Sharpie S gels. And these are in the bold uh, 1.0 uh, thing. So then we also have a little bit note, a little notebook with a cork board cover, and it's just lined paper. So just a neat little notebook. And I'm going to set these off to the side. And we've got two more. So we've got this one. Oops. And that is it for what's in there. And here's another fun thing. Um, this person, I'm guessing, really likes the little clips that you can put into your notebooks. So this one is from the Sparkly Bobble. It's not a big one, but it's a fun one. And then here we have a B one, and this is from, let's see, I think Clara Charms, that, that looks right. So neat little uh, paper clip. And then we've got some more washi samples, and these are fun. And then we have another pocket that you can put into your, um, planner so just again slip it off and put it on the inside cover a set of sticky notes don't forget from your future self as well as a little notebook that says moments of self-care and it's got this really cool uh, rainbow colored edging so so there is that one and then we have our final one I'm going to be careful about opening this because it's got my name and address on the top. There we go. All right, so we have a friction uh, clicker pen, which is fun because this is um, one, this, this pen is, again, Sharpie S gels for everything else. So I have used friction before, but it, it's been a while. And then we have some examples of high chew um, candies, which will be fun. I love grapefruit. Oh, that's going to be good. As oh, and So grapefruit and orange and then watermelon. So I'll find somebody to give the watermelon to. <laughs> Not a fan of watermelon, but that's just me. And then I thought this was also fun. Um, both the washi itself, as well as she included a little cutter. So if I wanted to, I could just start pulling it off and hold that down and then just rip off the washi using the cutter. Then a little card as well as here's some more things. So um, both the cardstock itself with all these cute little um, figures and some hollow foil as well as a similar designed piece of vellum. So really nice sweater weather with a little postcard so if I wanted to send this to somebody and then um, a big old sticker with a character I'm not familiar with but I want to look this up and then this I am familiar with <laughs> Sanrio Hello Kitty so this is just a little wallet uh, filled with some cutouts and little sticky sheets and stickers. So um, a lot of really neat stuff. And then also a magnetic bookmark that is a lot of fun. So I want to thank all of my table mates from the SGS, uh, table five, I think we were. 
um, and from the SGS Planner Conference. I really enjoy all of these and I'm really thankful to everyone for sharing these great treats. And so here are uh, the details for the giveaway that I'll be doing. So for the set of table mate gifts that I created, I actually have some extras. So what I'm going to do is send those out to two people and this is open internationally. I will be happy to send this to you. It may just take me a little while to get to the post office, um, but happy to send it internationally. All you have to do is leave a comment as to what you would include in a table mate gift if you were going to a paper planning conference. What is one thing that you would like to include and a way for me to contact you. So either your IG handle that I can DM you at or your email address. And this is going to be open until I don't know when I'm going to post this. So this will be open for one week after I post this video. I will put the specific details in the description below. So please be sure to check that out. And I look forward to seeing what your ideas are for table mate gifts. And I am so glad to be back. I am going to be putting up videos periodically, not on a set schedule, as I try to find my uh, routine. And please hit that bell to be notified if you are already subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day and may all your dreams be Ruby dreams. Bye-bye.